If you think getting above 90% in class 12 is a difficult task, it takes long study hours, late nights and a lot of stress or you have no idea from where to start studying for exams, then this video is for you. This video will not only change your mindset on how to get marks, it will also take the garbage stuff out of your mind and will show you a step by step easiest process with which getting high marks in class 12th exams will be a piece of cake for you. But before you watch this video, I want to tell you something. When I was like you preparing for class 12th, I was also searching on internet ways which will get me marks. And in doing this, I was a little scared, scared of not achieving my goal. That what if I did everything, tried my best, followed every routine and still get like 70%. What will happen then? So I was scared a lot. Hence, I want to tell you that do not feel scared. Relax, it is not a war. This is what I learned from my experience. You know that the more you relax, there are more chances that you will perform better and get good marks. So do not be too serious while watching this video and do not feel scared of the boards. Just relax, give your best and leave the rest. And also one thing, there should be a smile on your face because you are gonna learn something in some minutes which took me almost 3 years to learn. And finally, enjoy this video. Now time for getting that wrong programming out of your mind. Listen to this. This video is not about running behind marks. This video is about making you worthy of 90% or above marks. You don't have to run behind marks. You have to make the marks run behind you. Yes, you got my point. You have to become so excellent that the marks are gonna come at your doorstep and will say please give me a place in your mark list. Now you will say that I am telling you to run behind knowledge not marks. No this is not what I mean. I mean to give right importance to both. And if you want to know how to give right importance to both marks and knowledge then watch our video on marks versus knowledge. It will make you clear what I mean. Yes you are gonna chase marks but not blindly. Here you will not do hard work, you have to do smart work. Now the question is how? What exactly you should do today to get good marks? So here is the full tested step by step process you have to follow. And watch this video till the end to know what helped me the most to get above 90% in class 12th. First I want to tell you the things you will need. Number 1 time. Now this video is not like how to get 90% or above marks in 10 days before exam. I have also seen videos like study one day and get 90% above marks. So if you are watching this video and there is less than a month till your exams then stop watching this video. It is not for you. You should have at least 2 months before your exams to start preparation. The more time you have the better will be your preparation and the better chances that you will score above 90. Number 2. The right mindset. This mindset should be in your mind that I will chase marks but with that I will also keep a focus on what am I learning. Am I getting the knowledge of the subject? Am I worthy of getting 90% or above marks? And when I will get them, I will not stop learning and will continue to make myself better in my subject. Number 3. Completed syllabus by your school. Before starting to prepare for exams, your syllabus of every subject should be completed by your teacher before you start preparation. Because if your syllabus of each subject is not completed, then they give you some useless coping homework which eats a lot of time and make you tired. So make sure that there is no extra burden of irrelevant tasks from your school. And if there are irrelevant tasks like this, then complete them and get rid from them as fast as you can, so that you can get some free time to study and prepare. And last but not the least, your health. Now this is also very important 
a healthy mind lives in a healthy body so exercise each morning drink more water eat healthy leave junk food and please do not do this mistake many students spoil their health for marks sitting for hours without stretching and give the most valuable thing in their life for only some marks so never do this always give your health the first priority now if you have all the things you need you can start from the step 1 and the most important step the plan now take a separate notebook and divide it in different sections each section should have a title of the different subjects you have for example section 1 could be maths section 2 chemistry section 3 physics section 4 english section 5 computer and at last there should be two different sections one section named task and other section named old exam papers now write the complete syllabus of each subject under their different sections like the syllabus should have the chapter name and what you have to study in that chapter or the sub chapters now you have to see some different things like which subjects are your strongest and which one are your weakest which one will take the longest time and then write on the top of each section like how much days i will take to prepare this specific subject and then divide the days which you think are required to prepare this subject according to the time you have now take a calendar and write names on the dates like on this day i will study math chemistry on this day now do not repeat the subject instead switch them like do not study math 3 days in a row instead study math physics chemistry computer english then again on next dates math physics chemistry and so on and then slowly delete those subjects which you have completed and when your study plan notebook and your study plan calendar is ready congratulations your plan is ready and also keep this in mind like some days you will have less time like on school days and the days of some occasion etc etc and also there will be some golden days like sundays where you will have more time so keep track of this too and write difficult subjects on these days and easy subjects on those days on which you don't have much time and also in future i'm going to add some other in depth videos on how to plan for studying so subscribe this channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever i upload a new video now the next step begins with every morning after the day you have prepared your plan now after getting up every morning look at your calendar and see which subject you have to study for today then under that subject section in your planning notebook write the chapter which at any cost you have to study for today and also the extra things you need to complete to understand the subject better and after this do not think that you will be completely free on that day there will be some barriers some work which your mom told you to do yesterday some school assignment you have to give tomorrow and much more hence write all these barriers and other tasks in the task section all tasks other than studying should be written under your task section and under your that specific subject section which you are going to study plan your day and how you are going to manage your two days time with which you will be able to complete your chapter as well as other tasks hence smartly plan and write your whole day for example like from 9 to 11 i will complete the chapter 1 of math then i will complete my school assignment from 11 to 11:30 and so on now time for an amazing study tip when i said studying from 9 to 11 you will probably think that i am saying non stop 2 or 9 to 11 study the answer is no this is not the way to study smart the right way is the 45 to 15 minute principle in here you have to study 45 minutes with full concentration no distractions no checking your mobile nothing only and only study then 15 minute 
relax listen to music reward yourself for the 45 minute intense study and do whatever interesting thing you like to do in free time so with this 45 to 15 minute principle you have to study now the last step the step which will decide whether you will get 90% or not and if you do not follow this step then this video was a complete waste for you and also no other video can help you in getting above 90% and the step is to take action yes even if i am saying this 80% of the student who watched this video will not take any action and jump into another 90% video so tell me which one are you the 80% one who will not take any action or the 20% one who will get up make a plan and follow it every single day with their heart to get the knowledge and the marks so even if you make a plan and do not follow it do not get up early take the books and the pen and start studying smartly then forget about getting 90 marks because you are not worthy if you do not take action so when this video ends get up and take the right action and if you will be able to take action smartly then nobody can stop you from getting above 90% marks in class 12th so take the right action now as i promised i will share with you what helped me the most in getting above 90% in class 12th do you remember that in the video i told you to add a section of old exams in your exam planning notebook yes this is the thing solving old exam papers as much as i can helped me the most in getting above 90% in class 12th because they give us an idea on what questions are important and where to focus on to get marks so in that old exam paper section write all the names of old exam papers you have and cut them as you solve them i will also prefer that each day after studying the subject devote half an hour on solving an old exam paper of that specific subject and see which questions came from the chapters you studied and solve them and write complete answers this will be really beneficial in getting marks so this is the end of this video in future i will make videos covering these different topics in deep so subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified whenever i upload a new video and also all the best for your class 12th exams after the exams come back to this video and write in the comments how much marks you got in class 12th and also you can write your experience of this video in the comments down below and thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything